Hello, good day. So, continue tayo. Ang next lesson natin ay points on a line and on a plane. So, ano yung gusto natin matutunan ngayon? We want to apply the distance and the midpoint formulas. Magsusukat tayo ng distance between two points on first on a real number line. Then, we'll measure the distances between two points in the Cartesian plane. Then, nahanapin din natin yung gitna ng dalawang points na yun. Ano yung formula para mahanap yung gitna ng point or midpoint? of two points in a real number line and later on in the Cartesian plane. So first, let's look at points on a number line. So here is a number line, and you've encountered this in grade seven. And well, what we want to do is measure the distance between point A na nasa two at point B na nasa five. Uh, at first glance, nakita naman natin na three. But we want something more formal para kunin yung measurement na yun. So, the distance is just the difference between the coordinates of the two points. So B minus A, 5 minus 2 will give us 3. However, para general yung formula natin, na hindi natin kailangan malaman kung ano yung mas malaki saan, pwede natin sabihin, just the difference of the two coordinates. And then kukunin natin yung, yung absolute value nung difference nila. So in general, the distance between two points in a Cartesian plane is the absolute value of the difference of their coordinates. So that covers kung negative or positive yung difference nila. Because distance should always be positive. Does it work if one number is negative? Well, here, clearly, ang distance nila 1, 2, 3, 4. And let's look at our formula. D minus C, absolute value. So D minus C, 2 minus negative 2, 4. Absolute value, 4 pa rin. A negative na to. Mag-work ba kung C minus D? That's absolute value. Minus 2, or negative 2 minus 2 would be negative 4. Absolute value, 4 pa rin. So the formula still works even if one number is negative. And I guess you could make a guess kung both numbers are negative, will the formula still work? Well, tigan natin. E minus F will give us negative 5 minus negative 1. So that's 4. Again, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, negative 5 minus negative 1, negative 4, absolute value will give us 4. Negative 1 minus negative 5 will be one, ne uh, negative 1 plus 5. So, 4. So, yeah, still works. Wala tayong pangailang kung positive or negative yung points natin sa number line. The formula for distance, which is the difference between the two coordinates, kasi absolute value natin yung pareho lang. Now, ang gusto natin hanapin yung gitna ng dalawang points. Kunyari, yung gitna ng 206 and 2. Well, kahit wala namang number line, how do you find yung gitna ng 2 at 206? Di ba, we take the average. So, it's the same. If you're looking for the midpoint between two points in a number line, just take the average. So, in this case, it's 206 plus 2 divided by 2 will give us 104. So, tigan natin kung tama. 104, kano siya kalayo sa 2? Difference, di ba? 102. 206 kan siya kalayo sa 104. 102 din. So 102 yung distance ng A to M. 102 yung distance from M to B. So siya yung gitna nung dalawang points natin. Yung formula natin to formalize the midpoint formula on a number line is just the average of the two endpoints. Or of the coordinates of the two points na kinukuha natin yung gitna nila. Now, ito na yung mas importante sa Cartesian plane. So, let's say I have my Cartesian plane. Mayroon akong dalawang points. Point A, point B. Ang coordinates ng point A ay x1, y1. Ang coordinates ng point B ay x2, y2. So, nating hanapin yung distance nila. At, surprise, surprise, gagamit tayo ng Pythagorean theorem. So, first, gagawa tayo ng right triangle because that's what we do. When we use the Pythagorean theorem, we need a right triangle. We get our right triangle by dropping the the altitude from point A. So we draw lang tayo ng vertical line segment hanggang mamit niya yung horizontal line segment na nanggagaling naman kay point B. Pag natin balik pa rin, sa A yung horizontal, sa B yung vertical, dito naman yung right triangle. Okay lang yun. There are congruent triangles. We have a right triangle. This is a right angle. Ngayon, ano yung sinasa? Ah, okay. Sorry. Uh, ngayon, ano yung coordinates ng ating right angle na point? Well, 
it's along the same horizontal line as point A. So they would have to share the same X coordinate and nasa hori same horizontal line siya as point B. So it will have to share the Y coordinate of point B. I hope that makes sense. Now, Pythagorean theorem, kailangan natin yung length ng legs para makuha yung length ng hypotenuse. At sana nakikita natin dan sa right triangle natin, yung distance between A and B, yun yung hypotenuse ng right triangle na ginawa natin. <clears throat> Since these two points are in the same line, yung distance nila, naka-base lang sa y-coordinate nila. So yung length nitong altitude na to will be y1 minus y2. Absolute value natin para consistent dun sa formula. And here, this would be x1 minus x2. Again, we take the absolute value para consistent dun sa formula natin. Pythagorean theorem tells us that if you have a right triangle, yung length na hypotenuse na C, it's equal to the square root of A squared plus B squared. Now, tingnan natin to. You can see na ito will correspond to A, and this length will correspond to B, and the length that we want corresponds to, to C. So, pasok natin yung values natin. Yung the length that we want is the distance from A to B. Yung A natin ay x1 minus x2, absolute value, quantity squared. Yung B natin ay absolute value of y1 minus y2, quantity squared. Pero ano ba nangyayari pag in-square natin negative? Magiging positive din. So actually, redundant na yung absolute value. Pwede natin siyang tanggalin. So we just remove the absolute values and we come up with this formula, which is very important. It's based on the Pythagorean theorem. Dapat makita nyo kung bakit mukha siyang Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Pero yung C squared, in square root natin, both sides, para C na lang, which is the distance between A and B. Next, gusto natin kunin yung gitna na coordinate ng dalawang points na yun. So we call it point M. Again, we draw the altitude and the base ng isang right triangle. But, ito yung gusto natin pansinin. Yung gitna nitong altitude at yung gitna ng base, nagko-correspond sila dun sa x and y coordinates nung ating midpoint. I mean, it only makes sense pag tinampat mo ito dito. Siya yung gitna. Tinampat mo dito. Siya yung gitna. So actually, ang gagawin natin ay hahanapin natin yung gitna nitong line segment na to at itong line segment na ito. The line segment, first line segment is the altitude, the second line segment is the base. We know the x-coordinate of this point kasi pareho naman silang x1. And we know the y-coordinate of this point pareho naman silang y2. So, ang nag-matter ay yung mga missing coordinates dito. Start with this one. With the altitude. Siyempre, yung kanyang gitna ay yung gitna ng line. Which is yung average ng y1 and y2. Dito naman sa base, to get the midpoint of this line, along x, we get the average of x1 and x2. So, ano yung coordinates ng midpoint natin? The midpoint will share the same y-coordinate as the midpoint nitong altitude niya. So, ang y-coordinate niya ay y1 plus y2 over 2. And it will share the same x-coordinate as yung midpoint ng base natin, which is x1 plus x2 over 2. So, combining that, the coordinates of our midpoint are just averages of the coordinate, the respective coordinates no endpoints natin. So the midpoint sa line, sa plane, it's all about taking the average of the coordinates of the endpoint. And that's it. To recap, uh, in a number line, the distance between two points, so absolute value ng difference ng coordinates natin. It's a bit different in the Cartesian plane. Kailangan natin gamitin yung distance formula, which we base on the Pythagorean theorem. But when we're talking about midpoints, it's always the average of their respective coordinates. Um, next uh, lesson natin, after the exercises, will be we'll look at equations na pag pinlat natin ay magbibigay sa atin ng circles. Thank you very much and see you later.